Praise the Lord, everybody. up this morning, started us on our way, we breathe breath in our body, so we're here, we might as well give him glory, amen, we're going to sing a couple of songs and we're going to get out of y'all way, sing with us, and let's have fun in Jesus.
everybody lift your hands. Say, I believe. Come on, y'all. I'll sing that last part over again. Sing the last part of that song. And then we're going to the courthouse of heaven. If you're okay. Lord, we believe you for signs and wonders, the supernatural. Pour out your spirit. Your sons and daughters, oh Lord, we need you. Lord, we believe you. The signs and wonders, the supernatural, because you are the God. Sweet. 
I look at things and I thought about Gideon. They had a lot of warriors, but they had to cut them down. And they won. So you can't let the devil worry you. Because the attack is not on the person that is out there. The attack is on you. And if you can hold up, you hold up those that being look like being attacked. Because the devil knows he attack your children. Your mama, your daddy, or somebody in your church. It's going to worry you. So what you going to do when you come to church? You're going to sit there and worry about what's going on the outside. And still getting down to praise on the inside. That God's going to work it out. I tell you, the devil hate this church. this church. I said that Jesus and the devil hate this church. And he used the weak people to try to get us down. But I'm stronger than ever. Amen. Praise to God. We going to the throne of heaven before I bring this short message. There is a judge in heaven, he's, he's the Jehovah Jireh. I had to go before the Lord, I had to go to the courts of heaven. Where the judge is. And I had to tell him to free me. Because he's the only one had the power to do. Can you follow me if I'm doing? And I told him Jesus has already paid for it. He paid for everything I repent from. But just in case I left something off. I'm coming to plead my case. And I said, Jesus, Father, he's Abba. Father, Abba, I ain't got time to explain Abba, no father today. But I got repentance. Jesus paid for it. And I, and I got repentance. But what was mine because he paid for it. And everything that ever hold that I had covenant with him. I had covenant with the devil. Uh, for the things I did with with him, the agreement I made with him. So now I come to the courts of heaven, and Jesus already paid the price. And all He told me I got to do is repent, and I'm free. That the devil 
going to accuse me of. But the Bible says he's always going up. He's a accuser of the brothers. I can search myself. I remember long, long time ago. I was confessing to be saved. So I said, well, I got to go back and bring all my cases. I remember, Drusilla, there was a wallet on the road. I wasn't pastoring that, but I was saved. I picked up that wallet and it had names in it. And I knew that I was supposed to turn it in to who the name was. And it was $35 in that wallet. My children was hungry and we really didn't have no food. I took, I took the wallet back to the man. But I kept the $35. Father! To the case! I get deliverance. I come to tell you, Jesus, Lord, you know. Some of y'all missed it, but it's okay. I know Jesus paid your price and forgive you for your sin, but you can still be in bondage. Jesus talked every since he was on the earth. He talked about I do what my father do. I say what my father say. He let you know there was a higher power. And he sits right on the throne of the courthouse of heaven. Where the judgment seat is. I don't care if nobody don't believe this. After God done so much for me this past month. I ain't got nothing to do. But to believe it, Bella Bishop. And I'm walking up to the courthouse of heaven. Maybe some stuff I done I forgot about it. Father, even that I don't remember. If you bring it back, I'll let you know I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jesus paid the price. But I forgot to go back and tell God thank you. I forgot to go back and tell him thank you. I'm still 
and prayed and prayed and the thing is still there it's time to search yourself and say where did I miss that particular sin because I'm still in bondage things still ain't going my way God God Jesus paid the price yes the ultimate price he paid. The Bible, the Bible said. Y'all know about the long whip they had. They had, amen, on the ends of it like razor blade. The Bible said when they whipped him, it just didn't whip to his back, but it went around him. When they pulled it, they thread his body. I said meat came out. God done it, Jesus done it for you. He gave his son for you, Brandon. Oh, you ought not want to do nothing wrong. You ought to got enough sin on you. And Jesus done paid for it. And God, all right, I told the devil just last night or the night before, I said, I don't owe you nothing. You owe me. And the Bible said, I don't have to collect it. God will. God will collect it and give me what do for me. And God, you don't have to go along with this. I'm going to be happy. Tell somebody I don't know why I ain't got what I'm supposed to. Tell somebody I forgot to pay a debt. I, I forgot to pay you. And the devil holding that against me. And God, all right, how can I preach? And oh, you and still say I got God. Yes, I'm gonna lose myself. I'm gonna do the right thing. Yes, yes, Lord. I ain't worried about God. You know what I did? I went back and I said, Lord. I'm going to lose my children. I'm going to lose the church. God, go in Lawrence background. Go in Lawrence daddy background. Go in Lawrence granddaddy background. Go all the way back to the beginning of the world. Lose my children. And God, go in my daddy background. Go all the way back to the beginning. I want to lose my children. I want to lose my grandchildren. The devil is accusing them of a sin that they got forgiven. I'm going to call it until I find out what it is that causes you not to be blessed. The devil is a liar. It is God's fault that you don't have what you ought to have. It is my fault that you ain't got what you have. It's something you did. You made a covenant with the devil. If you drink in liquor, you are covered in with the devil. If you take in drugs, you give the devil a reason to cut off your blessing. If you lie on the 
church people, you get the devil a reason to wreck your home. Yeah, if you be disobedient to leadership, you cause the devil to have a covenant against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Touch me, Lord. Whatever you find, you're gonna find something. But whatever you find, find it up.
have a hold of your money, get loose. If you have a hold of your good job, get loose. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If you have a keeping you lonely, get loose. If you have a keeping you sad, get loose. Oh, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Come on, get loose. Church. 
I can sit in your way else while I'll pay it right here. Okay. 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 I'm glad you're here. Except you have a preacher. I am your preacher. If you hear it from anybody else, you hear it from I. Thank God. Thank so weak you don't know what you're doing and you go home and you go home and sit down and think about somebody in the church you can don't like Job was a righteous man but he still was bound Job always, with them ten children, he always give ten cattle. He was trying to buy God. How many of y'all like to give seed offering, but you don't like to pray? You don't like to fast? You're trying to buy God. How many of y'all run here and there, thinking that you can get an answer? Better than you get for your own pastor. Honey, you ain't gonna get none. You're gonna lose everything. That's a demon in you. Demon can't live in you. Cause they can't own your body. But they can control you. When you give the devil the reason to know that you are weak. Anything weak, uh, the devil can grab him by the neck uh, and pull him around uh, and make him do what he wanted to do. Ain't God all right? Uh, yes, I might not look like much, but me and Jesus and the just judge God, we got an agreement. If I live this life, and if I commit any crime, I'm quick to go up to the throne and call mercy, 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 mercy. I've done wrong, but Jesus, mercy, say, but Jesus, paid it all. Husband, don't give the devil the reason to not bless you on your job or whatever. I don't care how stupid your wife is. Your wife don't give the devil no right to bind you. I don't care how stupid your husband is. Because you're agreement with Jesus sent us somebody to pay our bound. But sometimes you commit the crime and don't go and get freedom by asking God to forgive us. I don't care how little it is. I don't care how small it seems. I'm going to ask the Lord to forgive me. I want to go and ask you to forgive me too. Because you know what the Bible said? There is no good thing in us. 
And I know that's true. Because sometimes thoughts come to you and you, I don't care how holy you think you are. Sometimes you don't want to like people. I don't care how holy you are. You can just be there and shout and sit down and roll over. And the devil still brings somebody to make you not like her. And I tell the devil you was a liar. I took a stand with God. I said I took a stand with God. That if he saved me, I'll live holy. Y'all don't have to go along with this. But your job, your education is going down. And nothing going to stand but the word of God. If you in the word, you get ready. The Bible says in the last day, the wealth of the sinners gets laid up for the righteous. If you ain't righteous, baby, you about to go there. Come on, somebody, tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. Tell God thank you. All these things that are being said, the solid city lyrics. Listen, we're not solid rock anymore. So if you say, oh, that go to Solid Rock. I forgot. We need Solid Rock. We need to sit at the Solid Rock. Solid Rock need to get this. Amen. We're not Solid Rock anymore. We are TDC. So you know that don't bother us. Oh, I just thought about that. Ain't God a good God? Do you know why your children is out there? Let me tell you what's, what's wrong. Instead of us praying, and believe in God for victory and going down the line and see whether we left out something. See, when I pray for my grandchildren, I've been in the Reed family, I've been in the Nick's family, the Mitchell family, I've been in every family, I've been in Jindel, I've been in the Johnson family. Because she married, amen. What did they did down the line that they don't know nothing about caused my children to be acting crazy? And the reason it's easy for us to blame them and look at them and say, oh, they're doing this and doing that, but you don't know what you about to got left on the plate that they are going through because you left it on the plate. Am I making any sense? If, you know what David said in Psalm, he says, if I regard iniquity, it can be one iniquity in my heart. He didn't say I was saying it out, let nobody hear it. But you know we got some quiet things hidden in our heart. You can't talk about me, Drew Still, and say I'm going to get a car. But oh, that old Samantha is a mess. And she nasty on top of she likes so and so. And I, she shouldn't be doing You got to keep your mouth shut. And tell the devil what he brings to your mind. Say, that ain't me. Say, my mind, my mind, that old mind is gone. Jesus gave me a new mind. Because the devil will get you in a mess and leave you right there. If you don't know your way back out, baby, you just in a mess. Some of y'all don't know your way back home. The devil that took you and took you in the wilderness somewhere. And you don't know how to come back to God and fall on the altar and call him Jesus. Save me all over again. The Bible said our bones ought to be fat. In the name of Jesus, some people got weak bones. Weak bones mean, you know. I don't care if I go from here to the end of the earth. It's still Jesus in my book. I don't want to leave that alone. If you're disobedient, that's a block. No, if you're disobedient, Elder Troy. How, how can you hear without a preacher? That's right. That's the word. That's the word. Huh? Somebody ain't hearing. You can't go against me what I what God tell me. It me because you know if I wasn't saved, I don't care if you come in here with your underwear on. Your dress can be so short they can be up here. If I was in sin, but since the Lord controls me, you can't come back in here any kind of old way. How can you be saved and disobey leadership? You need to find your church that lets you do that. How can you 
Say talk about your husband or your wife and you doing stuff. Sin ain't but sin. See, we look at sin, yours bigger than mine. In the eyesight of God, sin is sin. If I lie on you and you cheat on uh, Carrie, it's the same thing. It's no different. Sin ain't but sin. If I disobey my husband or dis he will disobey me, it's the same thing. The Bible said, come down, let us reason together. Me and my husband ought to be able to reason together. And if he the head of the household, I try to get him to understand. Rub his hand or his feet or something. Because I ain't leaving this with we, we disagree. Because if we disagree, we may as well stop. They don't need to ask God for something. Because we disagree. You know what I heard? I heard that God ain't changing his word. No matter how you call yourself, you think. Some of us think we're more powerful than God. And we're trying to twist God's word. God will never change his word. Obey those that have rulers over you. That means your mama, your daddy, your cousin. No, not your cousin, but your mama and your daddy. I'm so fired up this morning because I know what God's about to do to me. I'm buking the devil down here and he up there. He up there to the, in the kingdom accusing the brethren. I got to reach him where he at. I got to go up to the kingdom too. When you go to the courthouse, you don't stay home, do you? You don't sit in the car and pray, do you? It makes us the judges in the courthouse. And you want him to hear your side of the story. Trial accuse you of something. You're going to get your lawyer named Jesus. And you're going up to the courts of heaven. And you're going to tell our judge God. Our, our father. You're going to tell him that trial is restoring on me. But you know how we say he's lying on me. Amen. Because I ain't did that. Say the blood is here. The blood of Jesus is here. It's a witness for my case. The body is here. That's the blood. That's the blood. And the blood says, Hallelujah, he ain't guilty. Ain't God all right? And the blood might say he was guilty. But he repented. He already paid the price. And I took it, Jesus said. I took it in the blood. Just keep on going and think you're going to be big. If the devil don't get you funny, he'll get you chilling. I, I didn't say children. I said chilling. Just keep on acting stupid. They say all about you. I was talking about Amen Job. Job give them. I know he was a good man. He was a good man. He was a great man. He was a good man. But sometimes we bring God have to send attention to us. Job is giving those ten candles. God had him rich, and guess what the devil accused him of? The devil says, Job only serving you because of all the stuff you give him. Some of y'all want all the stuff, but y'all ain't ready to fight the devil. Or you don't know a fight until you start getting stuff. That new house, that new car, new furniture's in your house. Amen. You don't know a fight until you start getting stuff. Amen. Then the devil turn you behind my beat you and send you home. So Job been trying to buy God mercy. I ain't got to buy his mercy. Mercy is free. Huh? Amen. I remember, amen, praise the Lord. I thought about what we tried to do. Amen. I thought about what we tried to do. Amen. When Deacon Rise was so sick, I thought about this now. When Deacon Rise was so sick, we tried to give seed offering, big old seed offering. Instead of praying and laying hands, we were trying to buy God to heal him. Amen. We give to God because we love it. 
I give seed offering because I love them. Amen. If you don't never give me nothing back, amen, it's okay. He died anyway. So Job was trying to get God. He knew they was wrong, they were sinful, but they won't obey Job. I got, the, I got the, some kind of people like that. They blame God for the condition they're in. If you really go and read about how Jesus died, they scourge him. That's, that's a bad word. Then they stripped him naked. Huh, if I strip you naked, you probably get mad and never come back to church. Never speak to me or never whatever. Amen. Put a robe on him. Put, put one of Pharaoh's robes on him. Amen. Then laugh at him. Is you king? Is you king? That was to laugh at him. Amen. Somebody laugh at you. You want to fight. Amen. Then they turn around and slapped him. And laugh at him and turn around and spit on him. I said they spit on him. So it had to be more than one. But guess why he took it? For you little critters and me. He did it for us. You remember what he told Peter in the garden? That Peter cut that man's ears off. He said, Peter, put your sword down. Because he that used the sword will die by it. If you're trying to fight things out. You will die with your fight. But you got to give it to Jesus. He said, Peter, if I want to, I can call 60 million angels to come down. It must have was a lot of soldiers. And take over. I can live. Oh, Peter, y'all going to need me. So I must die. I came to die. I want to die. I know how painful it is. But if I don't die, you can't live. So I'm going to die that you might live. And I'm going to get up that you can be strong. Oh, it represents me on the earth. Yeah, that's why I can say this out. If I die now, if I die now, I won't have to die no more. One of these other days, I'm going home. No more crying. No more being lied on. That's why I live holy. I don't want to miss it. That's why I live holy. my children, not even for my grandchildren, not even for TDC, I got to make it. You can help people and do stuff for people and they don't appreciate it. If I don't do nothing else for y'all, I pray. I mean, I pray until I cry. Because I know some of my people ain't praying. Yeah, okay, so I pray for you where you at. Because I feel like sometimes when you're far off, you start backing up from God. Because ain't nobody around to hold you accountable. If ain't nobody around you to hold you accountable for what you do, you get wilder. And then God will let you go for a while. And then he'll send something. I just told one of my granddaughters. I said, I just told one of my granddaughters. I said, go ahead and do whatever you want to do. But you've been called by God. 
And everybody you messing around with, I don't mean messing around as a, everybody that you with, you call by God, you going to cause them heartaches. I said, you remember Jonah? You should have read where God sent him to go. He called those men on the ship. Hallelujah. They had a shipwreck. The Bible didn't say nobody survived but Jonah. Hey God, even after he got thrown in the big fish. Hey God, all right. I come to tell you. I come to tell you. You better live holy. You know such thing as I can't live it. You don't want to live it. You know such thing as I'm too weak to live it. You want to be weak. Because the word of God is gone. There's power. Power in the word. That if you would pick it up. Some of y'all trying to do ministry don't even know the scriptures. Hallelujah. I ain't mad with you. If you want to leave the EC, go ahead. But we get ready to be full of in a few days. Your spot will be taken. I ain't saving nobody's spot. All of y'all can get mad with me. I don't care. Hey, God, all right. I've been doing good without you. I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to do like Pastor President Keith, a great worldwide sinner. He came back. He said, I ain't know him. He ran to the altar. I went and prayed with him. Amen. But you got to prove to me that you mean business this time. It don't need to keep moving and put me in moving. Either you win me or you ain't. Amen. One thing about people, they won't keep on coming to church. I don't care if you mess up. If you keep on holding on, God will help you to overcome. But the trouble by people to lose heart. They don't want to hear God no more. They got like the prodigal son. They want to leave home. And know that the devil going to strip you naked. I'm glad I'm saved. The devil holding anything of yours. You ain't going nowhere. We make a covenant with the devil when we have sex and we know we ain't supposed to have Anytime you do something that's out of the will of God, you make covenant with the devil. And you can pray until you fall out. Until you go before Jesus. Let him know you sin. And you ask forgiveness. Because the devil up there accusing you. But Jesus body and blood up there too. To represent you. I don't care how much house you get, how much car you get. See, y'all think that's God. If God give it to you, he can take it. I mean, if the devil give it to you, he can take it back. Start, start treating me wrong. Look at me and get start thinking in your heart, I'm better than everybody else. How y'all doing? Look at them, they walking. Just keep it, just keep it up. And the same thing you were laughing at them about, God will bring that same thing to you. He, what, what are you doing? He's trying to teach you a lesson. That he loved everybody. The good, the bad, the ugly, the crippled, the whatever. He loves everybody. And don't be laughing at people that ain't saved yet. And don't ever think you better than nobody else. Because the Bible says he that first will be last. He that last will go around you. So don't you ever think you better than anybody else. Hallelujah. And there'll be something. If I sit up there and say, oh, God, I got the best house in Clyde. Oh, Jesus, look at me. Three cars in the yard. 
It's funny, I don't even think about that. He that giveth can take it away. Oh, I got money in the bag. Sure. Do you have that, my, my thing in your pocketbook? What you got from my house, that leather, that paper? You left it. Huh? What I had up on the door, and I had two in the bed, you got one. Oh. Okay. I bring it real. I might just pass some of y'all out. Who I think gonna do right. Tell somebody. Y'all talk be sick to when I see the blood I would pass, I pass. I tried to keep seeing the blood. Cause when he see the blood, whatever was gonna hurt you got to pass over. Huh? We got to love who what God said love and hate what God said hate. God asking God for a car and you ain't living nothing. Won't cook when you come home, won't clean up house. And you can't live by what your husband make. You got to have more money. That ain't the will of God. I'm tired. I got a Dutch. That's not the will of God. You supposed to cook. Wonder why things ain't going right in your house. Because there ain't nothing right because you ain't right. That's still sin. So you mad about somebody treating on you or whatever, and then you sinning too. You don't have no covenant with God. I had to go back and get forgiveness even for that. Because there's a lot of things I could have done for Lawrence I didn't do. I wouldn't do. I think it'd be in my mind I wasn't going to do. I had to go back and say, God, loose me from that covenant. The devil got something over me. I don't know, I ain't ashamed to say. I ain't be ashamed to say. But I want to be loose. I want to live as long as I can. I want to be healthy. I want to walk until I die. You can look at what's so pretty and be ugly the next year. Sin will kill you. Make you think God loved you more than he loved me. Man, what make you think God loved me more than he loved you? Try what make you think God loved me more than he loved you? If I got a little bit more money than you, if I got some car, a little bit, if I got a better house than you, you just living in a one room. What make you think God loved me? He noticed you more than he noticed in me. Because you need him more. Amen. What make y'all rush and get in a bunch of debt and then get mad with God? Because you want an airplane, a car, and six feet. And God said, wait, I say. And that what David said, wait, I say on the Lord. And you get all that stuff, and I'm going to tell y'all something. All the stuff I get, I still was miserable. Oh, he'll give it to you and let you know that ain't going to make you happy. He said, shut the Lord about in the house. You ain't going to be happy until the Lord said it like he's supposed to. Run it by all the dresses you want. Straight change your hairstyle 99, 50 million times. Get the jewelry on your finger. Get your nails all done up. Get your hair all, put some weave in, make it a little longer, make it a little shorter. Make it bald hair, whatever you want to do. You still ain't happy. I had to come to the conclusion. About 18 years ago, except the Lord about in me the right way, Francis ain't gonna never be happy. Oh, I'm happy now. Somebody said, You ain't here all by yourself. 
If you don't like me, I said, no, no, I ain't by myself. Y'all, you don't see my man, but he's right here. He's here. He's here. Touching my arms and touching my hands. Hey, God, he's here. You better go back and count up them sins. Signs and wonders. That's why I had y'all go sing it again. Because y'all was in Isaiah 8. Y'all was in Isaiah 8 and 18. Signs and wonders. Y'all was in Luke 1, 28 and 31. Conceive a miracle. I had so much I wanted to preach today. And the Lord told me, Francis, ain't no prayer that you prayed that I won't answer. I said, the devil put me right on the edge of something. Hallelujah. But I had somebody touching and agree. I had somebody holding covenant with me. It got all right. And I was almost gone. If you heard David say, I was almost gone. I thought it was almost over with. I was at the very end. About to give up. Say, so, oh well. It's gonna be alright anyhow. I'm gonna get the little attitude. It's God alright. And the Lord said, How dare you uh, not trust me? It got alright. I was almost about to fall over when the phone call came. So it is done. God! God, I'm gonna trust you to the very end. It got alright. I ain't gonna give up. I ain't gonna give up. I'm a whole. I'm a whole. The help is on the way. Yeah. I'm preaching myself happy. You don't have to be happy. I am happy. Glory to God. God, you ought to tell these ladies, ladies, keep your legs closed. Men, keep your passive up. It got all right until the right time. Yes, I said it. Women, stop being a blabber mouth. Stop talking about your husband to other women. That's why God give them to other women. Because that's what the agreement you made. You been a great man, been a devil. Stop talking about your bedroom, man. Stop talking about what's going on in your bedroom. That's private. That's between you and them. It's going on all right. That's why things happening. She ought not say that, but you ought not do it. I'm being good today, you better believe it. How the, how the devil have the audacity to come up against this church? I don't care if some of y'all come up against it. You about to fall in a cesspool. Yes, I prophesize it shall be. Trouble about what happened is we done done stuff before we got married. The bedroom when you get mad ought to be a first experience. So now y'all learn together. You learn together. Okay, God forgive you for doing it before then, but I'm just saying. 
And it really ain't no love. That's why we so quick to give in. Because all them people we done marry is still in us. If we don't go to the throne of heaven, I don't care if it's before you marry or after you marry. You got to get them things out of you. There's a stem sex. I'm not going to go no further with that. But you got to pull that thing out. You got to go to God and ask God to help you. So when you marry Susie, who ain't never done nothing like that, you can have a fresh start. Some of y'all have got so much move till you don't know which one to move. That's why you can't be satisfied. If we start off together, it ain't no love no more. We got married for sex. But if it's love, we gonna learn together. Well, I know, I know some of y'all love flunking the test. I know it, I know it. But you can still go to God. And ask God to help you. Before God give you that husband. Yeah, me, 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 me. I just heard a, I just heard a phone call. They said, me, 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 me. That's why you ain't got one yet. You need to go to God and get those stems out. So when you get Mr. It or Mrs. It, it lasts until Jesus comes. Don't get mad with me. Please be patient with me. God ain't even through with me with this message. So I'm going to cut off. Ain't not all right. Yeah, I'm just trying to tell you how to live happy. That's all, that's all. Can't be jumping on the chair. Living, sleeping in the living room. One in the bedroom and one in the den. What kind of marriage is that? Hey, darling, y'all just got married yesterday. And now you're already separated. You done got so mad over nothing. Until you done moved in another room with the children. And who oh, am I preaching to? I'm talking to somebody. It's all alright. Now when things go wrong, Pastor, pray for me. Now what did you do? I'm gonna leave this alone. You know, I got a good report from you. Guess where I got it from? From your wife. First one I got since you've been married. So don't you go acting up now. You're on the right road now. Got a call for somebody else. They might say something good about them. Right. I sure hope they ain't matched to her toe. <laughs> That's the best guess. Honey, when your wife says something good about you. See, 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 that's the trouble with it. We don't never say nothing good about our husbands. All we want is money. And you better do this and you better do that and you better do the other. He's so bossy till it's a shame. Love is love. You hear say for better? It might get worse. But you agree to it. I even went back and asked God to forgive me for that. You agree to it. You agree say better or and the reason God throw that in there because he knew it's going to get worse. He ain't got to cheat on you for it to be worse. He might get sick and can't work. Huh? He might get cancer and dying. She might get cancer and dying. It get for better or for worse. But y'all won't let worse get there. Y'all stop for the littlest little thing happen. 
I just told a young lady just the other day, met me. I can't I recall her name, but I just told her the other day. I said, oh, she's getting a divorce, and I, I, I agree with her because this is a real serious matter here. Yeah, we, 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 can't, we, can't, we, can't, we can't agree with this one. But I said to her, make sure when you get a divorce, you ain't got somebody out there waiting for you. <laughs> when you leave your husband or your wife, you ought not have another woman or another man waiting for you. It's got to be because of the situation. If you got somebody waiting on you, baby, you just going to be in hell fire. And you can't be looking while you're still living with them. I know some of y'all in here right now looking for somebody. Go home and please that what you got. Proverbs and <laughs> Proverbs and get your own citric. I better hush. Easy stare, somebody else citrus. C I S T E R N, I think that's what it's called. Y'all want to mess with everybody? Everybody. Some of these citrus got bugs in it. Got an alligator in my head. Bite you. Okay, I'm okay. Let's go. Thank the Lord for Jesus. <laughs> behold, I said, behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel. Now, everybody wants signs and wonders, but they don't want to live right. From the land of hosts, which dwells in Mount Zion, Isaiah 8 and 18. You know why B.B. Wine is so successful? She, uh, she'll tell you this all the time. Cece, I'm sorry. Bibi is the, the brother. Cece, you know what Cece said? If my husband was to tell me to quit singing right now, I would. Because he comes first. Say what? Ain't no man gonna tell me what. See, that's the way your mama did your daddy. That's why you acting like See, bossy women don't never have no. They know more than anybody in the house. That's why we got trouble today. We don't look at the long picture that further on down the road. We might be affecting our children, the next door neighbor. We, somebody might be looking up to me. I got some people in Clio. They say, I look up to you. My daughter just said, a few days ago, a lady had left here years ago. I don't even remember her. A lady came to the post office and told her, so you sure look like your mom. I meant to ask you that the other day. Amen. Somebody said, I don't see you. I know you don't see much. You blind in the eyes. And she talked about me. How if I was a bad person? Now, don't get me wrong. Somebody's going to talk about you. Don't care if you're good. You got some people just don't like you. I ain't talking about them kind of people. No matter how good you live. Amen. Pharaoh asked scornfully, who is the Lord? In Exodus 5 and 2. At God's command, Aaron threw down his rod and it became a snake. Pharaoh magical. He laughed as their rods also turned into snakes. Somebody laughing at you because you can't do a bit more than they can do. And you got Jesus and they got the devil. But the laughter died when Aaron's snake made his rod devour theirs. Some of y'all think you got so much of power and don't even know how to treat home in home. You don't even throw your hands up and tell God thank you. You don't got pride. And the Bible said God hate pride. How can God use us when we got so much of pride in us? You know, you know my pride was when I was married. So I had to learn some sense after I started preaching. I thought I was better than Lawrence. Because he act, used to act so dumb. He still act the same way. 
but I seem different. If you hate somebody, can't be around. Can't. I, I miss my love, Lawrence, like I got love. Polly and Pat and Jennifer and Lohome and Michael. I always gonna have to run up into him, be around him, be with him. He's in my life forever. You might not want to be, but you are. Don't shun me. Be nice. We got children together. God can't use me when we act like that. What is your hang up? You know, if you got some hang up about that, you can't be healed. You can't be blessed. Your children can't be blessed. Find out what covenant you got with the devil causing you not to be blessed. Huh? If you make a mistake, ask God to forgive you and help you. Your pride, your pride been hurt. Your pride been hurt so bad, now you just feel like, I'm just going to be like this, like a rock. I'm not call a bowl. God will not hear your prayer. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Pharaoh Magic laughed. Devil laughing at you because you know you ain't got no power. But tell somebody, my power get ready to turn and swallow Pharaoh's. Exodus 7 and 3. God proclaimed, I will multiply my signs and my wonders in the land of Egypt. And he did. He sent ten plagues, raged the land. Pharaoh and his majesty magicians and all of Egypt came to know beyond a doubt who the Lord is. God going to show some of us who he is because we done done too much. And y'all with all this stiff you done me wrong stuff. I feel it every Sunday when I come. You done me wrong and I can't forgive you. And, 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 and I done told everybody how you done me. I don't care. I don't care if I went to the moon and back. If God tell me to be good, I'm going to be good. I want to be healed and I want to be blessed. I want to live. It don't need for me to holler out, but I should live and not die. And I ain't got no grounds to stand on because I ain't doing the right thing. God do not hear prayers like that. It don't belong to the sinners. It belongs to the sick. Oh! You don't know who you want to be with. You want to be Johnny the day in Matthew tomorrow. Why you hop between two opinions? Make up your mind. We got people walking this church every Sunday. With a chip on their shoulders. Certain people they like, certain people they don't like. Certain people they're still thinking about 40 years ago. How can God forgive you when you won't forgive? I want to be happy. I want to be healthy. I don't want my bones to dry up. I want fat bones. Fat bones. My brother said you can have fat bones. But if you don't have fat bones, you're going to dry up and die. I get so aggravated when I hear some of the things people tell me on the phone. I ain't going to tell you no better because you've been with me long enough to know better. You want to die like a fool, die like a fool. You want me to pray for you, I pray for you. But except you get your house in order. I can't help you. God is multiplying his signs and wonders in our generation. 
just as in the days of Moses, God is going to reveal himself to the scoffers, yes. the doubters, <laughs> the psychics, right. and the sinners who scornfully ask, who is the Lord? You know, some people say and ask, who is the Lord? Right. The devil done got you so until you're so weak now until you talk. I don't know whether I really, is God for real? Is God really going to do this? Is God really going to do that? Because I'm going through so much. You're going through so much because you've got to cover this with the devil. You can go up to the throne of heaven and ask the Lord, God, free me. The just judge. You know the story about the woman that, I think, I think it's of her son, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And she went to get him free. She kept going to the judge. And the judge kept turning her down. And she kept going, she kept going, and the judge kept... Finally, she kept going, and the judge said, I'm not scared of God, no man. But this woman, because of her aggravation, I'm going to answer her. Right. You got to keep on going. And the Bible said, look at the, at the unjust judge. Some of us want to pray because it's easy just to say, Lord, I need you to help me. And that's going on. All right. It's not that easy. You got to meet business with God. You got to wait till everybody leave the house. And how out, oh, God. I'm wrong. They were going to bring you that person what you think is supposed to be wrong. Right. I don't want to see them, God. I don't want to look at them. Right. Now it's about me and you. Yes. I know it's a reason all of this is happening. I come to plead my side. I come to ask you to forgive me for all I've done. Yeah. Just like I'm hurting, he's hurting. Yeah. What did I do? Yeah. I believe I didn't do anything, but in your eyesight, what did I do? Because yeah. most of us always think we're right. Yeah. I, have to go, I have to go back to God and ask God to help me with a lot of stuff. Because I didn't know whether I was right or wrong. Did I listen when you spoke to me and tell me don't say that? Did, 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 did I listen when you tell me to let him have it? Did, did I listen when I tell you? You didn't hear me when I tell you to let it go. You just hold on anyway. You didn't stop when I tell you to stop your mouth and just love him. I love him. I love her. All we want is a name so somebody can say, oh, she's a good preacher. She's a good shouter. She's a good singer. We want that, but we don't want to live right after we walk out. Did you ever thought it was another way you could make Troy love you? Besides the bed? I had to go back and ask God to forgive me for that because I don't know what all I've done. I don't know what hurt him. We, we take it for granted that we the one, only one being hurt. Honey, I, I want to be saved for real. What did I do to Lawrence? What make him act the way he had? He had a lot of problems. Why did I help him with the problem? Lord, I didn't know no better. I didn't know what set him off. I don't know what kind of childhood he had. I don't know what he went through. Help me to help him. No, we don't say that. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. I'm just, I'm just. I'm just. I can't take no more. I just can't take no more. I just can't take no more. I just can't. I had to go and ask God. And all of that was holding me back. Even though I got up and said, oh, God has blessed me and blessed me, I still was crying at night. What is this the devil got on me that I ain't satisfied? That's the question. That's the question. It ain't God, Drusilla. What did I give the devil to make me be the way I am? 
Why is he holding on me? I'm going to search my life from the beginning to the end. God, tell me what it is that I don't remember. And sometimes the Lord said, all you got to do is ask for forgiveness. I, I said, Lord, forgive me for what I don't remember. And forgive me what I remember. Because sometimes we can say things to people that don't know they hurt them. Wife can send their husband away by I don't appreciate the two cents they do bring. You marry him for better or worse. Worse done come. He ain't got but a hundred dollars. How can you say there is no God? How can you say there is no God? I forgot, that's my song. I made that song. Yes, you did. Who made the mountains? Who made the trees? Who made the green grass? So green in the spring. Must be Jesus. Must be Jesus. Must be Jesus. Go home and pray. There is no God. There is a God. Y'all don't know him, but there's, there's a God. There is no God, but you wanna. Let me. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. The highest praise is not me preaching behind him. I, I just, just in case y'all think it is. Can I have some of y'all that married? The highest praise is how I treat my house when I get home. Because right here, I can make a show. Just want y'all praise. And walk out and be a devil until I get back. But it's how I treat, if I'm married, it's how I treat my husband. So I ain't got a husband, so it's how I treat Whitney. How I treat Samantha. It's how you act after you leave church. Because if you be nasty after you leave church, you wasting your time. Church is supposed to help you, not make you worse. I don't know why some of y'all want ministry and can't take teaching at home and can't take teaching at church. There's a snake out there getting ready to bite you. I don't care. You don't have to believe me. Go try it. I've been there, done that. How you treat now? You get up in this cross legs all you want to. How you treat now when you walk out of here? That's determined your life living. That means I got something out of church. I got something out of the word of God. Jesus, I heard you. I heard the preacher. Preacher, how can I hear? Except I hear from the preacher. And you're going to say, I heard the preacher because it's making me treat now, man. Now, now by raise her voice and you say, honey, I love you anyway. Where the weakness coming in? We are the weak of wrestling, so the Bible says. And some of these women take advantage of the being the weaker women. 
Yeah, the Bible says, I live in rest. That just to get over. It's how you act when you get out there in the world. How Paul they act on the job. How you act on the job. And some people, you know, you know what happened? You can say, amen to me all you want to. But you got a demon assigned to you. So I heard what you say in church. Now let me send one of my weak flesh. I need a flesh to use. So I'm going to send my weak flesh. And a nasty man comes in. And try and test your patience. You got to say, Lord, the devil heard me. arrived in my belly oh no he's been there all the time but he's kicking them I know if you ain't like me I know you don't understand I know if you're more flesh than spirit you get more enjoyment out of a piccolo joint than you do out of church but I had my I had my 20 years of a piccolo in a club. But ain't nothing like this. If you're ever feeling for real. If you ever had any encounters with it. You'll never be the same again. Let me read this and I'm going to leave y'all alone. I told y'all last Sunday something was happening. And then I put on Facebook to the sins of God. If something happened to you, great. Between now and May the 30th or 31st. Come on and tell me about it. Cause I heard something that shall come to pass. This too 
shall come to pass. I want Justin so blessed. Yeah, he got some ways like Peter. But he loves God's house. No, I ain't give up on none of my children or grandchildren. Amen. I said to y'all that are getting married, y'all that are already married, plan on having children, start praying together now. Because we're in the last days. And the devil wants your children. He wants your children in the Bible days. When Moses and those got ready to leave out of Egypt, they asked to leave the children. I don't care how bad your church seemed to be. Don't talk about them to nobody. Don't cast the name about them to nobody. You just pray. Because next time it might be your child. The devil don't have no particular people. Tell somebody you better not laugh at mine because you still got some. Lord, if I could shout out, take cut one right there. This and be going to quit. And the angel came in to her and said, Hail, thou that are highly favored. The Lord is with thee. Some of us want to be favored, but we're highly favored. Blessed are thou among women, and behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Luke 1 28 and 31. The story of Mary and the conception of Jesus revealed five powerful keys to receiving God's miracle working power. Before you can receive a miracle, you must receive a word from God. I just gave you all one. I gave you all 55 of them. Trouble with the church, they don't take the word no longer than they I do like Justin. When I get home, I try to play it. And I try to see what in there that's for me. Because a lot of time I'm preaching, I don't hear what I'm doing. Before you can receive a miracle, you must receive a word from God. I don't see no word. I ain't want to hear her. Don't be. I'm just here. Well, I mean, I, I don't mind. Because, you know, I know that's the devil's job to do whatever he does. I don't know why y'all get mad at the devil because he talk about you. That's his job. Job. And he got to have somebody with flesh to you because we wouldn't hear about it if it was in the spirit. So he takes him out of weak flesh that called himself in Jesus. And he used that weak flesh to come after you. You all look at me laugh. <laughs> ha ha ha. You were summoned to come towards me. Child, please, you better go find somebody else. I don't know. Some people got some demons. You can be saved and bound for not knowing what to do. All right, all right. Whether it comes from the Bible or it comes through anointing. Let me read this right here. My Lord, they show I preached this sermon back in 2013 or 2015. Okay. Preaching. Oh, it comes from the Lord. Speak, we're talking about here the preacher now. In your spirit, you must receive the word that speaks to your situation. Even you're supposed to go to the Bible and read the word that's it's about your situation. If you're broke, you need to go and find something about money. Provide you got enough, doing right enough for God to answer. Because you can read all you want and have those 
spiritual eyes, you won't even see it. God gave me the 70th chapter of Psalms, and I'm going to let him read, I'm going to be through. When God told the prophet Elijah to seek out the widow of Zarephath, he had a plan for her. Yes. He intended to provide for her needs and prosperity. Hear her. I need my glasses. Her in a time of drought and famine. But when Elijah came to her, she had not yet received that word from God. Anybody got the word yet? The prophet had to put a damage on her faith. Ooh, I'm sorry. The prophet had to put a demand on her faith to bring her into God's provision. She received God's word through the prophet and in so doing received her miracle. You got to hear from the preacher. Yes. Receive God's word for your situation and allow him to conceive a miracle in your spiritual womb. Jesus is always there. If you want him, he'll come in right now. I'm going to ask a few of y'all if you want to rededicate your life back to the Lord. I'm going to pray for him every day. Will you come forth if you want to? If you already think you've got it all together, then please stay with me. I'm just doing what the Lord said to me. We won't lose everything that got you bound. Now you can't leave out here and go back and start cussing and fight. Don't waste my time nor yours. You got to make a step. You got to come up. Because 
sitting there as the just he's a just judge Jesus the blood is on the side it have already been ahead of you and record recognize you and present you to the father he paid your price everything you've done up to this point Jesus done paid for I know you can't forgive yourself. Seems like it's too hard. But you can't forgive yourself because he doesn't forgive you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. So you want him to help you from this point on. To be the best that you can be. Yes, Lord. You let him know that you're sorry for what you've done. And you're going to sit like flip this and say, the devil made me do it. And tell him, Lord, I want to be all that I can be. Yes. I want to live all that I can live. I just have to help you to stand. Yes. Help, help, help. I want to be the best wife or the best husband. I want to be the best friend. Yes, Lord. I want to be the ch best church person. Yes, Lord. I want to get this head out of me yes, and this. Lord pride out of me. Yes, Lord. I don't think I ever did this before quite this way, but Lord, I want you to help me. Yes, God. Since Jesus' blood done paid the price, God, God, God. Yes, God. and I see it sitting there at the throne, I plead my case today. Yes. Forgive me for all my sins. The one I remember, the one I don't remember. The one I thought was right, but it was wrong. Forgive me for not hearing you when you spoke to me and not stopping. Forgive me, oh God, for when you told me to go to the altar, I didn't go to the altar. Yes, God. Forgive me for not paying my tithes right. Yes. Forgive me, God, for not 
plant seeds with my body. And when I mean that, I'm not getting into service, not giving you no praise. Forgive me for when I got home, I didn't pray for my family. Yeah, but I'm a shape. But I'm the one on the other side. But I'm the one that's going to church. I didn't pray for my children. God fixed me that I will be the intercessor for my family. That I will be the intercessor for my husband. That I will be the intercessor for my home and our finance. In the name of Jesus. Everything that applies to me. Give me the strength. Now, Lord, give me a little bit more of your ways and your thoughts. Help me to think a little more like you. So I will do that. Give me a little bit more of your love. Your love is, oh my God, your love is so, un Lord, we can't imagine the love. Even when we don't want you, even when we don't serve, even when we talk about you, even when we let you down, you still love us. Help me to have the kind of love my father has in heaven. Touch me now. Don't let me leave church today, God. Don't let me leave church today acting the same old me. Don't let me let the devil out in the world to fool me to get hurt and lose everything I got. In the name of Jesus. God, we're not mad with anybody that don't want you because you ain't mad with them. We're not mad with nobody that think they know more than the preacher know about you. And we are not mad with them. But to these, but to these, God, on my life living. God, on the way I live, if I live anything, but you look on these right now, I want them to make it. I want them to go to heaven. But I want them to enjoy themselves while they're here. Show them what heaven can be like. Earth is not heaven, but we can live on earth as it is in heaven. Touch them now. Let your glory fall on them. You said you won't put none of the disease on you that you put on Israel. God, don't let us get no more disease. We want anything come, God, protect us. Let the blood surround this church. Let the blood surround these people. God, I love these you give me. I plead the blood of Jesus on them. I plead the blood of Jesus on the few men folks we have. God, keep them. Help us not to lose another man. In the name of Jesus. And Lord, we give you praise and we give you glory. Protect Casey way off from us. But I think you can send your word and you said you can heal them. Protect Nene. Protect even Jessica and Jenny and those that feel like God ain't did what they think he should have done. But I know you're the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I know you're the God of the Hebrew children. I know you're the God of the blind and the crippled. I know you can raise the dead. God, look on these right now. Let the blessings of the Lord fall upon them. Give them strength and power not to hurt. Give them strength not to hurt. But they can go to you and get an answer. If you don't hear from you, your voice, they can get an answer in your word. God, send your word again. Forgive us again. Help us one more time. You're the God of more than one or two chances. God, we need another chance. Somebody need another chance. Somebody standing up need another chance. We speak to death and we tell death to back up. Tell death to back up. They won't be in the wrong place. The wrong. They'll be in the right place. Thank you, Lord. Take care of our children. Cover them under the blood. Let your blood drain down on them like Aaron's bed now. Protect them because they think they're so right. But you did say in the last days, fathers and mothers will be against their children, their children will be against. The Bible is being fulfilled. 
letting us know that the time is at hand and you so soon to come. Jesus, we love you. Come on, say, Lord, I love you. Lord, I love you. Help me. I don't want to deny you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to offend you. But I need your help. So will you help me? God, help me. Stand up for the truth. And I'll give you the praise and the glory. Because I can't do it on my own. I try. I can't, Lord. I try. I can't, Lord. But I try, but I can't. God intervene. That if you wanted to do it, now somebody ready. If you still want to do what you want to do, then don't say it. But help me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. May God bless you. You may go back to your seat. We have so much to do. Thank y'all so much. Thank Patrick and his wife to be for being with us. Heard about your engagement. Whitney showed me some of the things. Y'all love each other. Just love each other. Anybody getting married, love each other. Try to be an example to other young people. Let them know that this thing do work. Amen. Y'all get your ties. Let's pray. Come, come. I need the elders. Come, baby. You, you be in an accident? I thought about this. Oh, Lord. I ain't know what's happening. Did it burn, sir? Oh, you was in a car wreck. Wow. Devil wants you, huh? Devil wants you. Give it all to you. Can you go down and take your seat? Give it all to you. Hallelujah. Give it all to you. Father, we come to you. The enemy desire to sift him like we. But we are praying that this young man be you. God, we saw that you touch him. And ever since the enemy has come, cover him under the blood. Satan! You foul demon, you. We rebuke you. By the power yes. of the just judge. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Be healed. Be strengthened. In the name of Jesus. And Lord touch his mind. The battleground. The battleground of the devil. Touch his mind. Give him a mind like you. In the name of Jesus. God use him for your glory. Oh God, from the top of his head to the bottom of his, let your glory fill his place. Let your glory fill his heart. Let him shine. Let your glory touch now. In the name of Jesus, we are giving praise and glory. In Jesus' name. Oh, yeah. oh, he been through a lot, though. Yeah. God, you're going to make it up to him. Devil! Devil! Devil. Devil. Whatever the agreement went. Yeah. Yeah. On his father's side. Yeah. Down his mother's side. Yeah. Whatever yeah. covenant they made. For yeah. Loose him. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we rebuke it now. We rebuke it now. You shall not have him. You will not suffer like that. Oh, 
We plead the blood. We plead the blood. We plead the blood. I plead the blood. The blood of Jesus. Come against you, Satan. The blood of Jesus. Come against that thing. The blood. The blood of Jesus. Cover him now. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody clap those. Y'all see why we gotta fast and pray. The Lord put these people in y'all children in Elder Moles house so we can bring them to the Lord. Amen. We gonna pray for our church because y'all only know what the devil trying to do. Devil is a coward. He's a lying coward. Everybody that deals with them, they are lying cowards too. And I send everything back to you that you send to us. This ain't just started. I remember years ago, anybody a coward that sent you something with no name on it. If you that bad, show yourself. Amen, because if I send you one, I'm going to put my name on it. I'm going to let you know I sent it. Glory to God, glory to God. Ain't God, God. I don't know what y'all talking about, but I'll just pray. The very to TDC. Well, I forgot. Let me take that back. We, we not Solid Rock no more. It says Solid Rock. Okay, we'll, we'll make sure they get it. We're going to bury it. <laughs> and everything that had the hands on to be buried with it. Oh, yeah, we're going to bury that. Oh, we're going to bury you that against us. We're going to bury you today. Amen. I'm going to ask Bishop Lewis to dig a hole out there. I don't need but one more person to go with you. And tell it to die. You don't know who you're playing with. You play church, but I live church. I said, I live church. I live church. There is a difference. Don't try to get your children, your grandchildren. Send people back out they love our children. Your nasty demon and anybody else with you. I don't care if you come here and you're with them, you too. Get out of here. All foul spirit. All spirit against us. Leave him. Get out of here. I summoned you by God to go, 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 you demon, go. Spirit is 
and it is done. He said he'll answer every prize. I want him to answer this one first. Okay, okay. You don't need to run in my prayer like it. Ah, when you rebuke something and you, and, you, and you walk on it, you don't supposed to go back over and repeat it. Not less than they repent. Who is that scared of? You must be scared of us. Because if it wasn't scared, you put your name on it. Wasn't it, Brittany? Come on, send us 50 more if you want to. We got power. I don't have no covenant with the devil. My only covenant is Jesus Christ. And I ain't scared. Some of y'all sick and don't know why you're sick. Marriage ain't working, you don't know why your marriage ain't working. Tell them, say, come on, show up. But you got the wrong name on it. You done missed the wrong address. You sent it to the right church, but the wrong address. And we can't send it back to sender. The sender was too coward to put the address on it. So for that cause, we are buried. And tell it to die. Now you go bury it. We don't want nothing in it. Bury it. Hey, right, bury it on the church ground. Go back in the graveyard back there, bit. Put it in the graveyard. Amen. Amen. Well, what's going on? You just praise him. But you might be too weak to touch it. You might be too weak to touch it. Can't let everybody touch it. They might be too weak to touch it. Probably somebody, some of y'all messing with. Your ties and then the offering, they mean, oh no. we get late and it's getting late. Late in the evening, sun is almost down. It's getting late in the evening, sun is almost down. It's getting late in the evening, sun is almost down. Sing hallelujah. hallelujah. You can lie in the heat of is all It's getting late. Oh, it's going down. Oh, 
destroyed what came to all of us. Now, if you're a real TDCite, I'm about to find out in just a second. I ain't telling you got to run and jump, but at least open your mouth and say hallelujah. Because hallelujah means God be praised. Now, some of you that are here to gain a message to take back, take back what you want, but the devil lost another battle. All right, so we're going to try this again. And if you a TDC, I, I dare you to, I don't want to hear nothing about you tired or your sugar dropping. The pastor done preached the whole sermon. That's the devil trying to trick you. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah! 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 H
hey, you go hey, hallelujah. Put your hand together, hallelujah. Stop the praise. You better go hey, hallelujah. You go hey, hallelujah. You go hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The devil lost the game. The devil lost the game. Nobody ever the devil. Nobody ever the devil. Ha ha, devil. Ha. You lost the game. CDC stronger than ever. We won another battle. We won another battle. Hallelujah. 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 He's gonna tear the table. Stand to your feet. Hold them up to heaven. The devil lost me. The devil lost me. The devil lost He lost again. The devil lost He lost again. The devil lost The devil 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 lost again. That's in the world. Never lost a game. Never lost a game. Never lost a game. Never lost a game. You tried it. You tried it. But you lost a game. You tried it. But you lost a game. You tried it. But you lost a game. Never lost a game. Never lost a game. Get what you need by yourself. Where you at, Miss Hope? Let's give God some praise.
And because God is the greatest power, we shall never, never be defeated. And because God is the greatest power, we shall, we shall never, we shall never be defeated. And because God. Hold your ties up to heaven, Father. Never be defeated. We thank you for these tithe payers that are obedient to your word. God, this is a new season that's been opened up. We, TDC, are under open heaven. And God, we thank you for the blessings. We thank you for the signs, miracles, and wonders. And whatever we've been struggling in financially, God, you broke it today. Because the case was closed, we have no more faults with the enemy or time. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Bring it up and God, 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 pray. God, God is the greatest power. We shall never, we shall never, never be the greatest power. God is the greatest power. We shall never, we shall never. Tell your neighbor, but before we do that, don't we thank God for the word of God? Yeah. Lift your voice and say, Lord, strengthen our hearts. Yeah. 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 Lift your voice and say, Lord, strengthen our pastor. Lord, strengthen our pastor, yeah. Now open your mouth and say, She shall never be defeated. to receive our offering but I want you to make this your affirmation now now if it ain't your affirmation don't make this but if this is your affirmation when I count to three I want you to say it hear me out if this is your affirmation I want you to say TDC born and bred hold on hold on hold on follow 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 direction I want you to hear it for you say it TDC born and bred TDC till I'm dead now, if that's your affirmation at the count of three, I want you to say it. TDC born and bred. TDC till I'm dead. One, two, three, say it. TDC born and bred. TDC till I'm dead. Now lift your eyes and tell God thank you. Oh. 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 Yeah. You better go ahead. You better go ahead. All right. We're going to see another hotel. This 
Listen, born don't mean from 1983. Whenever you join, if you born in this thing, you better be here till you're dead. All right, we're going to receive our offering. TDC strong. TDC strong. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thinking about being conceived, then we used to do what that baby is doing. God tried to remind us. TDC Nation, we here. TDC Strong. I am TDC. I am a TDC Ike. I am a Nick's Ike. And ain't gonna be nobody take this away. TDC Strong. I thank God for my church. I thank God for my pastor. If you don't have pride in where you are, you better find somewhere else. But I'm so glad to be a TDCI. Today, I, I have to challenge as many of you that will. Who's gonna give that hundred dollars? Our pastor's giving, my wife and I have given. Come on, let me see your hundred dollar seat so us. Thank you, Sister Angie. Thank all of you. I don't want to start calling names. Come on, bring it. Bring your hundred. Thank you. Thank you. Hundred dollar seat so us. Where are you? Hanaya. Is that all my hundred dollar seat souls? Thank you. Hey, Shanda Dabasta. 